Now, America has seen the hottest spring and the warmest 12 months since records began. Now, NASA is launching a long-awaited satellite that could help to explain why. A crucial piece in the climate change puzzle is how one scientist put it. The brainchild of Al Gore 14 years ago, the satellite Triana became a political football at the mercy of Congress and the White House. For tonight's special report, our Washington correspondent Matt Fry was given exclusive access to NASA as scientists took the satellite out of cold storage. A record-breaking heat wave, an all-time high. Tied for the hottest year ever on record. Really unusual weather for the, the area. The scorching temperatures have smashed through more than 200 record highs. Unseasonable heat with the promise of more to come. For America, the last 12 months have been the hottest to date. Spring has broken all records. Of course, the story didn't start this year. And in this country, awareness of climate change was raised above all by one man. The scientific consensus is that we are causing global warming. Long before he made his film An Inconvenient Truth, Vice President Al Gore commissioned a satellite whose express purpose was to monitor climate change by measuring movements in cloud and solar energy. That was 1998, and it seemed like an idea whose time had come. That was Al Gore's original vision, 14 years ago. But since then, the journey of this satellite has been scientific, it has above all been political, and also, until now, entirely earthbound. Meet Triana, or she's now called Discover, the only NASA satellite never to have been launched, and at a cost of $250 million, perhaps the most expensive political football in history. This is the NASA Space Flight Center outside Washington. After languishing in cold storage here for almost a decade, she is now set to fly with a new name and a new mission. Jay Herman is her scientific godfather. He's devoted much of his working life to this project. How would you describe its extraordinary journey, kind of through the political and scientific maze? <laughs> it's, it's been disturbing. I, I've spent uh, a large part of my career uh, working on this satellite and then uh, came to the point where uh, I never thought that this would fly. And now having it come back and actually look like it's going to fly has been, uh, been amazing and very pleasing. This was a boondoggle. Al Gore ran around saying that he wanted to uh, put a picture of the Earth uh, from a satellite on the Internet 24-7. This was a very expensive screensaver. And as soon as George W. Bush became president, uh, he basically said that this was a waste of money and we should not spend money uh, putting the satellite up. Congressman Jim Sensenbrenner was the Republican chairman of the House Science Committee who controlled the funding and who didn't believe in the science of climate change. But if you're a climate change skeptic, you'd want to be able to prove your skepticism with scientific evidence as much as possible, surely? Well, I think if we had conclusive scientific evidence, uh, the people who are climate change uh, aficiendos uh, wouldn't believe the conclusive scientific evidence to begin with. Having already cost a fortune, no one quite had the heart to turn Triana into scrap metal. So it was dumped here in a corner of NASA's giant fridge. The term climate change is still politically toxic, but NASA saved the satellite with the makeover. The new focus is space weather, warning us when the sun is about to play havoc with our GPS systems or power grids. Very useful and utterly devoid of all politics. It takes about a half an hour for these storms to get to Earth from that point. So it buys us about a half an hour warning time. Fair enough, but ask the bureaucrats at NASA about the satellite's morphing mission and all you can hear is the sound of breaking eggshells. We can all agree that we would have been better off with that thing not in storage for six years, but rather being deployed in space, doing what it's supposed to be doing. I don't, I don't know about that. I, the agency I, had other priorities. The agency takes direction from Congress. Right. It, That's it, the know, direction it, that they had. So Congress changes its mind, the agency has to listen, and you have to do something else. That's the chain. By the way, the satellite will also track a crucial aspect of climate change, but keep that quiet. Uh, it could be uh, that this, uh, the data obtained from this satellite will show that the effects of climate change are minimal. On the other hand, it could show the opposite. So, Do you from think a this, this satellite could be so important in that whole debate? 
This satellite, what this satellite does as far as climate change goes, it fills in a missing piece of information that low Earth orbit satellites uh, have a, a great difficulty in determining. And would it not have been useful to have that piece of information a decade earlier? But then in this town, politics and science are a toxic brew. And that too is an inconvenient truth. Matt Fry, Channel 4 News, Washington.